friends and welcome to the cottage. Now you are probably looking at the screen and thinking, <laughs> Julie, what the heck are you up to? <laughs> well, you guys know, um, oops, sorry. <laughs> I just kicked a plug out of the wall. Um, you guys know that I am um, assisting two of my Dolly friends um, who are high-end uh, reborn and silicone collectors. I'm helping them downsize their collection, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, is hard because I have had some beautiful dolls come through my nursery and, oh, and there's a lot more on the way. So the last two sold last night and there's a lot more on the way. <laughs> So, um, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. We're going to be having some fun around here, you guys. So if you're not subscribed, you better get subscribed and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of these amazing deals on these beautiful babies. Anyway, I'm sure all of you guys have been wondering, are you going to keep any of these babies? And the answer was no. <laughs> The answer was nope, nope, nope. I have, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight babies in my collection right now. I have four, uh, I have four vinyl reborns, authentic reborns. I have two, um, silicone babies and I have two replicas, which makes eight, which I think is a perfect number of babies for me. Um, and then this little girl showed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I basically, um, you guys may remember from past videos when I was doing a big, um, what do you call it? I, you know, a big downsizing for my, um, my friend Jen Jen. Um, I, on occasion, would kind of fall in love with one of her babies and ask if I could foster it for a while. So, you know, not a forever mummy, but a foster mummy. And um, so I think that's what I'm going to do with this baby. I'm going to foster her for a while. I'm going to dress her and love on her when I have the time and, um, and just see if um, she's meant to stay in my collection. And, you know, permanently, because like I said, I've got eight dolls right now and you guys know I don't, 10 is my limit. So I have to be pretty careful. And, you know, um, clearly the babies that are here aren't going anywhere. So that only leaves space for two. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I have to be pretty, pretty careful about, um, you know, who I'm going to add to my nursery. So I wanted to do a blanket reveal um, of this baby girl. And she's, well, clearly, a lot of beautiful dolls have gone through the nursery in the last month. And I have not considered keeping any of them. Well, you know, of course, I don't have any dolly money. I still don't have any dolly money. Um, but, you know... <laughs> Oh, you know, things can be done. Anyway, this, uh, this little girl is about, she's, she's a one-year-old little girl. And I'm going to show you something funny. Look at this. <laughs> she is a one-year-old little girl. She is a chunky monkey. And you guys know I love a chunky monkey. And, um, and she was done by Prototart prototype artist Wanda Monroe and I have admired Wanda's work on McPherson's prototypes so so much and being able to see uh you know her her work in person is um you know is just yeah it's just uh now she's the second baby um my uh Saskia my Saskia um was also by this artist. So, so this sculpt is called Louisa and she's a, a, a Janie DeLang sculpt. And let's do the reveal. And I'm going to get her dressed because I'm so busy with uh, my, you know, my foster grandkids 
that um, I have, you know, I just haven't got any time at all to, you know, I'm just in full Nana farm and Nana and doll selling mode, <laughs> which hasn't given me any time to play with my dolls. But thankfully, my um, two of my adult kids are here and they are playing with the kids. So I'm getting a little bit, you know, half an hour kind of doll time. So let's have a look at this. <laughs> I see I'm going to have to lift the camera up. So Wanda Monroe's work, her skin, the way she does her skin, her blushing, her matting, everything is, it's crazy good, you guys. I mean, it's crazy good. It's, yeah, it's, it's probably, it's probably the best I've ever seen, to be honest. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of Russian artists. Huge, huge fan of Russian artists. But I don't know. Like, they're just really, her realism is insane. Like, oh no, now I've given her blanket head. Look at this girl, you guys. Yeah, like her... Her, her painting, I mean, clearly you can tell she's a prototype artist because her, her painting, this, this baby's hair is so mono rooted that it looks, you know, you would never believe it's not growing out of her head. Like it's just so, so mono rooted. Yeah, this, she's, she's just crazy real. Like, honestly, I could carry her through the grocery store and, you know, Unless someone really stared at her, noticed she wasn't blinking, people would swear she was real. Like, she's just so beautifully painted. And uh, when I, you know, took her out of the box, I was like, oh, man, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm just going to see. She's pretty heavy, but I, I, want, I really want to show you guys her feet because her feet are so real here oh, see your foot like what the heck how do you even paint like that oh my goodness gracious so she's got these absolutely gorgeous German glass blue eyes very very realistic very realistic um, you know, they're, they're, they've got some gray in them. Oh man, she's so realistic, you guys. <laughs> oh, help me. I'm like crushing on this baby. Anyway, I'm having a hard time. She's 25 inches and she's a chunk. So I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what size she wears. Like right now she's wearing, um, this is this so what she's wearing right now is six months. And this fits her pretty good, actually. This fits her pretty good. Um, but I, I tried to put a six-month sleeper on her, and uh, no way. It, there was just no way. It was just too, it was too tight in the legs. because her leg, So I'm just kind of trying to feel that out. I'm, I'm going to put this uh, dress on her that um this baby Oshkosh dress that I bought in you know one of the sales it's not even been worn yet and I, of course it's so country cottage you guys it's like patchworky and floral and oh, scrumptious 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 so I'm gonna try this on her there's a little diaper cover I'm just gonna see if she can wear uh 24 months like in a dress you know how sometimes babies can Okay, I'm going to just turn her sideways. And she's an Elizabeth, you guys. She is absolutely an Elizabeth. As soon as I took her out of the box and hugged her, um, I just thought, oh my gosh, you're an Elizabeth. <laughs> I don't know why. You guys know I love that name. I just love, love the name Elizabeth. Um, you know, of course, the queen. <laughs> love, 
loved, you know, loved all the stories and movies about, you know, the first Queen Elizabeth. Of course, followed the second Queen Elizabeth my whole life. And, uh, and, um, oh my gosh, you guys. Like, she is, she is a chunk. Look at this. She's a juggy girl. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel love for her. Like, I do. And it was, like, instantaneous. Absolutely instantaneous. You know, the love for her. I see she's got her, her she's got her nose hollowed out. It's not um, shaded. It's actually hollowed out. She has applied lashes, and I know a lot of people are not for the applied lashes, but these are so well done. They're like baby brown. They're soft and wispy, and you, you would never know how they were applied. And her eyebrows, oh, my God, they're crazy, crazy good. Anyway, I'm going to try this dress on her. It might be ridiculously big, but... Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I've, I've just got her sitting with Genevieve, um, he, you know, in he, in a Moses basket here because Genevieve, of course, is a big girl. She's two, though. Um, but her and Genevieve quite uh, enjoy each other. And I'm just kind of, you know, like just admiring her. I haven't had a lot of, this is the first time I've been able to dress her other than just to put that little... Um, you know, short onesie on her. Oh my gosh, I think this is going to fit her, you guys. Um, just because, you know, go. I've been just going full tilt um, with, uh, with my foster grandkids because they are, um, they've got quite a lot of challenges, um, quite a lot of challenges. Uh, yeah, they, they, they have quite a lot of challenges uh, behavior wise. So um, they're, so they're, you know, I mean, having a three year old and an eight year old um, when, you, you know, you haven't parented small children for some time is a lot. But um, they have some, um, you know, developmental delays and some. Um, some other uh, behavioral things that's that's really makes uh, caring for them challenging. Anyway, I think this dress is going to uh, work really, really, really well. Actually, I think even these little bloomers might. Oh, I'm excited! I think this might look really cute. And this is 24 months, you guys. This is a 24 month dress. So I'm really confused. <laughs> I don't know what size this girl wears. Because this 24 month dress, I mean, it's a little, maybe a little bit longer than it would be on, say, Genevieve. But like the neck, the neckline fits really well. Oh, it's really pretty on her, too. It's got little puffy sleeves. You want to look at your aunties and uncles? <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to put any shoes on her. It's a beautiful day today here. It's cool. You know, it's only like, I think it's maybe six today, but it's sun, the sun's out, the sun's out bright. We've been out doing farm chores. Had a huge breakfast this morning. I made pancakes, pancakes and hash browns and, you know, eggs that we just collected early this morning. Okay, so I'm just going to... I'm going to lift her up and then I'm going to go get my hair stuff. And I've got this little headband that I came in a pack from Timu. They're supposedly handmade. I highly recommend these headbands. I've sh showed them in a few videos. They're soft and just lovely. Beautiful colors and... Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Comment down below what you think. Like, can you understand why I'm smitten? Like, you know, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not saying I have to actually use like a no tangle brush because her hair is so thick. A baby brush would not go through it. Like, no way. I'm just going to gently, she's got very, very wavy hair and I kind of suspect 
that if you, um, you know, wet her hair and then scrunched, you would probably get um, lots of curls. I think I like her hair kind of over her ears with just like a little sideburn. Um, cause when you brush her hair completely over her ears, it, she, <laughs> my kids were joking and saying she looked like Willy Wonka cause it kind of looked like a bob, you know, it kind of looks like a bob. It's beautiful, beautiful soft hair though. Oh, I think this dress looks gorgeous on her and honestly the neck fits just right. So I'm really confused now. I think she's going to be one of those babies where you just have to kind of try it on and then decide. I'm just going to turn her so she can look at you guys. So, you know, I'm not really sure what the plan is with her. If she's going to stay forever. Um, or if, you know, she's just going to stay for a little bit and then I'll find her a forever home. I'm not really sure. Just, you know, because my my life is sort of... I'm a bit overwhelmed, as you guys have heard on previous videos, with having my kidlets here. And spring is coming, and it's going to come early, you guys. And I got a lot going on. We got ducklings hatching anytime now. And, uh, well, not anytime, but I think in another week. And we've got baby goats being born maybe the end of this month. And, oh my gosh, you guys, look at looks like like kind of like a little wreath except that I just messed her hair up really badly um so a lot going on at the farm a lot going on at the farm um I'm gonna plant more than I usually do this year because my husband is retiring um at the end of summer so I'll need you know a lot more you know the kids will be coming over a lot uh for you know family barbecues and it's just going to be super busy this summer. So I really want to plant a lot of stuff because I much prefer eat my, my own fruit and vegetables than anybody else's because I don't use pesticides. Um, so, you know, organic is best in my opinion. Um, but it's too expensive to buy at the store. I got to grow it myself. So what do you guys think? <laughs> Do you love her? Oh my gosh, I love her. I really love her. Isn't she look so sweet? Oh my gosh, she looks so sweet. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can't afford any more babies. <laughs> I can't afford any more babies. Anyway, comment down below, you guys. Tell me what you think. Should I keep this beautiful girl? I just sold two of my babies. I sold my Jupiter Sculpt and another baby that I had here that I just wasn't, I didn't ever really bond with. And uh, so, like I said, I'm down to eight dolls in the nursery. Eight dolls! Except, I mean, if you include... Um, you know, Reba and, and Loretta, my soft sculpture cabbage batch dolls, uh, little Julie, my American girl, and then my two porcelain dolls. I mean, you know, there's a few more dolls around here. My Coleco cabbage patch doll that's still in her box. I mean, I have a few more dolls, but I mean, as far as reborns or silicones, I have eight. And two of them are replicas. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So I kind of feel like, hey, you know, I could have, my limit's 10. So, <laughs> anyway, comment down below if you think she should stay. Anyway, she's here for now. I'm calling her Elizabeth, best for short. And, um, and I'm just, I'm really happy she's here. Thank you so much for watching and as always, Take care.